obedient as true born again Rastafari. And so the men of Rastafari who really don't know and understand that they have been born again and what being born again is based upon. So as we continue our study of epigenosis, the Holy Spirit said, go to the verses at least to give a cursory of the verse. The first verse that we're going to deal with is, uh, I think this is, what is it, Philippians? Philippians 1 and 9, or is it Philemon? Philippians 1 and 9. And 1 and 9 reads, this is the first, well actually it was Colossians 1 and 9. Should we touch on Colossians 1 and 9 since that was the first one? Let's touch on Colossians 1 and 9 and just hold Philippians 1 and 9 right there and we're going to touch on Colossians 1 and 9. This is how we do a Hila Selassie first Bible study. You understand? Know, we have to study and show ourselves the truth. The Majesty says, for my part, I glory in the Bible. So we must show ourselves faithful and true. We must make our wills obedient as true born again Arastafari. And so the men of Arastafari who really don't know and understand that they have been born again and what being born again is based upon I will strongly urge you you understand to study much more and to consider that and to pray upon that to our God Father in the name of Jesus Christos in the name of Yehoshua HaMoshiach because it's really important that we recognize the, the fundamental principles and building block of true Ras Tefari and not to get caught up into isms and, and schisms. So Colossians 1 and 9 and this is on epigenosis which is the Greek word for full knowledge, correct and precise knowledge or overstanding what we as Ras Tefari know as overstanding. So 1 and 9 says for this cause we also since the day we heard it do not cease to pray for you all and to desire that ye, that you all might be filled with the knowledge. Now that word knowledge means overstanding. In Colossians chapter 1 verse 9, that word knowledge in the epigenosis in the root sense means full knowledge, correct, precise and correct knowledge. Or in the Rastafari, the true Rastafari sense, will mean overstanding. So Hawari Apalos is saying that for this cause we also, since the day we heard, do not cease to pray for you, to desire that ye, that you all might be filled with the knowledge, the precise and correct knowledge or the overstanding of his will in all wisdom, in all chokmah, kibbeb, and spiritual comprehension or understanding. I see this interesting. Some people say, well, I thought overstanding was just another way of saying understanding. This is why studying these things is important. Because understanding there would be comprehension, which is different than having the full, you understand, the full or the precise and correct overstanding or knowledge. So that's the first quote right there from Epigenosis, where this word overstanding or precise and correct gnosis, gnosis or knowledge appears. Or within this particular study that we're studying right here. But if we go now to Philippians, Philippians has 1 and 9, 1 and 9, which is the first definition, the first sense of epigenosis. Epigenosis. Here in Philippians 1 and 9, it says, And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. You understand this Rastafari? You understand this Ethiopian Hebrew? You understand this faithful Gentiles or Gentiles who are seeking the King of Kings and His Christ? This is very important. And I pray, and this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more. So love is a part of it. But in what context? In knowledge and in all judgment. So judgment is very much an important part of it. And this is, when we look at uh, the original manifestation of Rastafari, and the testimony of that generation of Rastafari, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that first, we could say like the early Christians, the early Rastafari, we see that these principles were maintained, even though many of the mind and mind may have not been literate so far, but in their spirit, we know that in their spirit, Rastafari was guiding their spirit because it conforms to his word. But now we have a generation who many of them can read and write, and many of them 
are educated and so forth and so on, the last of today. You understand? And yet, many of the youth don't know this. You know, we, I and I have to repent to the King of Kings and His Christ for the falling short. Let's go now to the Colossians again, 3 and 10. 3 and 10. So we're returning to Colossians now. So we're seeing the context of epigenosis, of the Rastafari overstanding. In 3 and 10 it says, And have put on the new, the Adis, so, or the new man, to put on the new man, which is renewed, which is what? Renewed in knowledge, which is renewed. So the putting on of the new man, of Rastafari, is to be renewed, become new again, born again in knowledge or understanding after the image of him that created him. So if we as Rastafari take on the name of his imperial majesty, then this verse applies to us according to the teaching of his imperial majesty and the word of his Christ and the early true Gnostic Hawaria, those who knew the correct and the precise, whether the correct and precise understanding of the good news as we're learning now. So this verse also applies to Rastafari overstanding Colossians chapter 3 verse 10 and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, which is renewed in epigenosis, which is renewed in overstanding, which is renewed in precise and correct knowledge. Now let's move on to the next cat epigenosis in Romans 10 and 4. Let's go to Romans 10.